Hi there, welcome to another video from the Vickers MG Collection of Research Association. This one's a, a short video on the Bren combination tool. Now we do have Bren guns in the collection uh, that we use for our comparisons. And these are some of the common questions that I see. Yeah, so what is what are the different components of the Bren combination tool used for? So we thought we'd just take a quick look for you. And you know, searching through the supplement number two to the instructions for armorers 1931, uh, which is available, so the Bren supplement for that is available to download through our patreon pages if you'd like to do so please do sign up and support the association you've uh, you'll understand that you've got these different screwdrivers you've got the small screwdriver the large screwdriver the large forked screwdriver and the small forked screwdriver and you can see there's some damage to our small forked screwdriver because the forks are missing that doesn't necessarily stop you using it though so uh the screwdrivers are pretty obvious um you know what they're used for but it's worth saying you're giving some examples so the large forked screwdriver is used to remove the carrying handle grip for example or for putting that back together um you can then use it for the the small fork screwdriver to remove the butt strap uh, if you've got the butt strap on the um, on the gun so you can use that to, to remove it there uh, on the you also use the sm forked screwdriver uh, not really sure whether it's the large or the small but to remove the bipod screw the bipod sleeve screw nut so uh, probably the small in this case for example here's another example um, so yeah the bipod sleeve the small forked screwdriver is used to strip the back sight as well uh, you remove the split pin with the and with the small fork screwdriver of the combination tool, remove the nut. So these are those nuts that have, uh, you'll see that have got some grooves in the top of. So clearly, you know, the, the, those forks fit in there. It means you don't have to use spanners or anything like that. Um, you then can use it to remove the... Uh, you can use it to clean the grooves on the piston. Uh, as well so the fouling collected so if cleaning the piston uh, the fouling connected collected on the diameter and in the annular grooves should be removed by means of a wire brush or scratch card the grooves being finally cleaned by inserting the smaller of the forked screwdrivers and rotating the piston so you know cleaning purpose there as well um, and of course you know the, the, so you've got the, the these used you know great uh, you, you can understand that um, those are quite obvious you then have the, the, the body of the, um, uh, of the combination tool itself, uh, which requires you to, you know, the copper hammer. It's pretty obvious what you'd want to use that for, hitting things very hard. The bar on here is used to turn the gas regulator on the side of, on the, side of the Bren gun. So, you know, you can, you can put that in there and turn it quite easily. Um, that helps you set the, the, the gas uh, yeah, helps you regulate the amount of gas or the rate of fire on the Bren. So if you've removed the butt strap using the large forked screwdriver or the small, I can't quite remember, you then place the end of the uh, combination tool over the return spring tube cap, press the cap inward and turn anti-clockwise, uh, ease the combination tool to the rear and remove the cap. So that will then remove uh, the return spring and rod. It's not quite clear which of the uh, fork screwdrivers you can use, um, and I'm not getting the Bren gun out of the rack to try now, perhaps I should have done, uh, but you can use it to remove the pistol grip as well. One of the things that's quite interesting is, is there's a reference in the, um, in, 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 the, in the manual there, in the instructions for armors, of a cutting edge, and I think that's what this is. This is a cutting edge here. Um, and what you do is you put that inside the flash eliminator of the um, of the barrel, uh, so there, and you turn it, rotate clockwise, and that will remove any fouling from inside the flash eliminator. Ah, I can just see. So this here is a cutting edge look. So you can see that. Uh, that's to remove the fouling from the inside of the flash eliminator. And then the last specific thing uh, is actually to use the hammer here to gently tap the fouling with the copper hammer provided on the combination tool to clean the front face of the piston. So quite a few specific uses. Uh, this is uh, the a sort of spanner shape of the combination tool as well. Um, that I can't remember what that fits, but it fits a few things. So one day, perhaps after we've had the Bren firing, we'll show you all these different functions of cleaning things on the range. Um, as I said, please do 
subscribe to the channel, support us on Patreon uh, to get more of these shorts. And, you know, this is hashtag not just Vickers MG. Thank you for watching. Please remember to like and share the video and subscribe to the channel. Please support us on Patreon if you're able to. And let us know of anything you'd like to see in the future. I look forward to hearing from you.